What's up guys, another exciting update today. iOS 11.1 developer beta one was just released and this is just a day after iOS 11.0.1. So Apple is on a roll and this is actually quite the update. So there are a lot of changes in this one, 15 plus that I'd like to share with you in this video. So definitely a big change from 11.0.1 where there was almost nothing to talk about. So first off, it's a huge update. It was two gigabytes on my iPhone 8 plus. You'll find it in the software update settings. That is if you do have the beta profile. I don't believe there's a public beta just yet, uh, but the build number is pretty long here. Didn't really notice anything else inside of the about page uh, of note. But anyways, what's changed? What's new? Let's start with the lock screen. So first thing you'll notice after uh, first off opening this guy is that the unlock animation is a little bit different. So let's try that again it slides up just a little bit faster and a little bit differently. It's hard to catch. I'm gonna slow the video down for you guys just so you can see that about one, two, three, one more. Let's see, try the screen on one, two, three. So it's a little bit different. And same thing goes for opening up the camera from the cover sheet. So if we go to the right, notice how the camera kind of pops in towards you instead of just sliding to it. There's a new unlock and or camera animation here. So once again, one, two, three. That one pops up towards you, you just slide to that one. Oh, I don't know why this is so buggy. Ah, hard to grab both of them. There we go. So there is a new camera animation too. And when you are inside of an application and you get a notification, there's a slightly different animation for opening it. Notice how this one just slides over regularly. And now if I do it vice versa to this guy over here, it's a slightly different animation now. So check this out. When I get that notification, click on it, it does this bounce, very similar to opening up the camera. It's more of a bounce and then enter instead of just a slide over. Really cool. This one is really neat. I appreciate this attention to detail from Apple. So let's go all the way down to the bottom of a page. In iOS 11.0.1, when you click on the top, it just slides all the way up. In this one, it slides and then slows down near the top. So let's try that on the very same page and we'll click slide up at the very same time by touching status bar, one, two, three. Notice that, how that one slows down towards the end. It's a very subtle but refined animation. I really like that. In iBooks, this is one thing that I saw that Apple overlooked. All of these app icons on the bottom, they don't really match up with the new theme. In iOS 11.1 beta though, Apple has just updated them to match the new bolder theme inside of iOS 11. Now in iOS 11.1, you will be getting more suggestions for emojis. Instead, where you used to only have one emoji suggestion, now you will have a number of three, which is awesome. So there's more to choose from. You don't have to go digging through the emojis as you'll have more presented to you here. And for whatever reason, on the lock screen, when you get an incorrect attempt, for the passcode, there's no longer any haptic feedback on iOS 11.1, so Apple did remove that. So it's not a change that I like. Now, inside of accessibility in the assistive touch menu, there have been quite a few changes here. So I'm sure that this is in an attempt to make it easier to adjust to the iPhone 10 and the no home button thing, but over here you'll notice several new options, and this 3D touch one has been relocated from the customized top level menu over here to the main page. So few new options here, which is pretty neat. Also uh, jumping into assistive touch itself, you'll notice that when you open it, it no longer opens in the middle. It's adaptive to wherever you open it from. If I open it here on the bottom and the actual assistive touch button is on the bottom, it doesn't open in the middle anymore, which is pretty handy. It'll open closer to your finger so you don't have to go all the way up to the middle of the screen. Anyways, so once you do open it, check this out. There is a new Siri icon. There is a new home icon that has been slightly tweaked as well. Let's jump into the device in here, go into more, and there is a new icon for gestures as well. It's just a little dot in the middle of that circle. So all around, lots of updates to assistive touch. Very subtle one, but in the restrictions, the camera icon now matches the new camera icon found in iOS 11. So Apple updated that very subtle, almost didn't catch this one. A change I noticed in music, pretty subtle, but certainly there. When you go to a song that you're playing, and for the first time when you open it, the now playing splash screen will now appear in the middle and slide up in order to show you where the up next category is. So instead of just vaguely saying, oh, now playing is here, it'll actually show you where it is and several other things. So for one, the feedback app is now back in iOS 11.1. You can submit your feedback. Hopefully that will help to resolve bugs and make iOS 11 smoother in general. A lot of people are saying it's feeling a little bit better, a little bit faster, more responsive. I definitely cannot say I noticed that. I've tested a lot of the animations against each other and they're exactly the same opening and closing apps. So no difference there is probably just a placebo. 
couple other things. Reachability has a really weird bug. I think Apple is working on improving it for the iPhone 10. So we'll certainly see some changes for that in the future, I believe. And as a result, look at that, you get some weird crossover when activating it on the home screen. There's also this odd bug on Siri from the lock screen, open photos. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. It'll show you this, but this time it just shows you that little logo, but you can click over here and it shows up. So a little weird bug, Apple's making some under the cover adjustments in future betas, I'm sure that will be fixed. All right, features wise, that is just about it. Still no sign of Apple Pay via messages or syncing via iCloud of messages. Also the 3D touch gesture for the app switcher is nowhere to be present. Maybe it will come in a future version of 11.1. And this is the firmware that for sure the iPhone 10 will ship with, or at least beyond 11.1 that is. Anyways, uh, I just wanna do a Geekbench real quick, show you guys the numbers here. Don't really expect much variation, but uh, always good to double check. All right, and that's what I got for iOS 11.1. Not too far off from 11.0.1 on this guy here. So there it is guys, iOS 11.1 beta, stay tuned for future versions of this. Quite a significant upgrade, much better than 11.0.1 that is. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for more. Peace.